This video is brought to you by dndperformanceinterior.com, makers of aftermarket steering wheels, shift knobs, seats, and other interior accessories. Check them out in the link in the description below. Okay, so today I have received this mysterious package here from the United States. It must be a turbo for my car. Okay, so let's open the box up. Oh, okay, so jokes aside, this is what you find in the box. There's this horn adapter. This is a horn button. Same exact logo as in the box. Two D&D stickers. This one is definitely going on to the Miata. This is a bit too fancy. This is a keychain. And looks nice. This right here is our hub, which as you can see is black. Has the D&D logo on top. And it's Mazda specific. It's pretty simplistic. Looks nice. Feels sturdy. Then we've got this small package with Allen screws and an Allen wrench. And let me unpeel this. This is a DD windshield decal, as you can see. And now for the most important part of all. Look at this bad boy. This is so beautiful. This is so nice. This is so much better than compared to the picks. The picks don't do it justice. Okay, so as you can see, this is what the car looks like now. Okay, so the first step of this procedure is to go ahead and remove a terminal of your battery because you don't want airbag to explode in your face. Okay, so after removing the battery, as you can see, no power. There are caps on each side of the wheel, two in total that you take off, and two bolts that you gotta take out. Okay, so I've just taken the bolts off, and yep, there's the airbag. Okay, so after taking the airbag off, we gotta disconnect this thing right here. I'll start by moving the wheel. Okay, so since the um, hub wouldn't fit with the clock spring installed, I figured that perhaps this is not needed. I okay, so after removing the clock spring, this is the uh, horn connector, as you can see. Okay, so this thing works, as you can see, but it works in a mysterious way. There's a metallic plate, as you can see here. And I've run a small piece of wire that connects the uh, steering shaft to that metal plate you know it connects to these and that metal plate has got this thing soldered onto it and it goes here then i have run this cable from here which traces to here so now what i've got to do is actually cut this to length on it through here it's quite smoothly and it should be pretty good to go okay so after quite a lot of cursing and going back and forth this is it the wheel is installed, it looks awesome, the horn works, as you can see, removing the clock spring didn't affect the turn signals at all. I will need to clean this up, but I've gotta say, I'm quite satisfied with the results so far. Now the car definitely isn't photo or video worthy, but well... This is the result. This is this is how it looks compared to how it looked with the uh, OEM steering wheel. As you can see, it looks hella sexy. Time for the most important part of the installation. So, as you can see, the install has been finalized. I have tie wrapped the, uh, the grounding cable and I put this piece of foam so that it looks neater. As you can see, the horn works, but that it's completed. Let's do a mini review of it. So first of all, it's sturdy. I mean, I'm actually shaking the car with the wheel and it's very sturdy feels nice and solid it's beautiful I really like the color 
everything is nice about it. I mean, it's well thought out. It's ideal for drifting as it's got a small concave, as you can see. It's, all, it's also got these great handles right here, which feel really nice when driving it. I took it on a spin the other day and it, it actually felt nicer and more enjoyable and more engaging overall with this wheel. And that's about it. Now, what about negatives? Well, the only negative thing about it, I'm not a huge fan of the stripe. I wish it just wasn't there. It looks cleaner this way. This looks more 90s race-ish. And my other complaint would be these marks right here that appear to be you know, leather glued on or something. But you cannot really see this and unless this starts to wear out or something, then if it stays like it is, I don't really have any problems with it. So that's about it. Now, would I recommend this fuel? Well, I absolutely would. It feels sturdy, it's great value for money, looks great, and they've got nice color ranges and variants to choose from from your site. Feels solid, feels nice, and doesn't cost a lot. You should check them out in their website. One word of warning. If you're an idiot, like I am, and you've got these OEM seats with the OEM harnesses, um, you shouldn't remove your airbag and put such a wheel on. You should actually go ahead and buy seats with proper uh, four or five point harnesses thrown with these. That's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.